Hey guys, Cindy out here with my Artsy Endeavors. Look at my hair, it's almost white. This is what happens when your um, hairdresser does not use the right products on your hair. Oh well, that's all right. Hey, I am gonna share with you today my art space. Um, bear with me because some of it's still kind of messy. I don't have it, I keep tweaking it. It's not quite where I want it yet, but I'm working on it. So without further ado, here we go. All right, here we go. So, we're walking into my art studio. And I'm just going to do a quick pan around and then I will give you an idea of what all we have here. Craziness, craziness. Craziness, craziness. Okay. So we're going to start right here on this wall. Um, when you walk in the room, I just have this little stand here. It's got all kinds of little doodad things on it. Um, some of my supernatural guys. My Buddha. This is my happy place. And then I found that cage, that bird cage. Um, let's see if, there we go. That bird cage, I found that at a antique dealer, and I just, I really liked it. It was like six bucks, so I brought that home. Now, um, what you're going to see, let me back it out as far as I can. This is my closet. Um, this is still a work in progress, okay? Uh, it's a mess right now. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. I keep tweaking as I find things. I keep tweaking what I want in here, what I don't want in here. Um, I actually had my husband, that shelf right there was not up there. I had him build me another shelf to go the whole way along the top. There's my scrapbooks I used to do. But a lot of that up in there is just stuff that I don't use very often. The next shelf down, again, more stuff. And like I said, this is not organized as well as I want it to be, but hey, I'm working on it. Um, and then when I first got, whoops, I just backed into a table. When I first got here, the only shelves that were in here were these middle ones. So I told my hubs, I said, hey, I need shelves up and down on both sides. So that's what he did for me. Um, I've got rubber stamps, uh, sticker makers, beads. I have a chair that's in the way. Um, all kinds of stuff. Scrapbooking paper. Sorry about the light. I'm standing in the shadow, in the light. My cinch, all that kind of stuff. Boxes, flowers, tissue paper, um, clothing tags, burlap, ATCs, clay. All that kind of stuff is there okay I am not gonna go through it all because it would take forever um, these two cases right here are my travel cases I've been using those recently um, full of junk <laughs> my pens this is a bunch of pens pencils uh, markers different things that I use these two tins are my alcohol links of course my pick 10 sticks more pens I'll try to stay out of the light um, this is all my jars that you used to see lined all up the whole way across uh, behind me. That's okay. It's still there. Um, paints. There's all my punches. I need to figure out what to do with those, how to get them um, organized a little bit better because that's just crazy. Um, beads. This is all beads. And this is all fabric and stuff. <laughs> Um, let's see. Let's continue on this wall. This wall, uh, let me back up. Try not to kill myself while I'm doing it. This wall, I put up my banner. And then I had my husband buy a couple different things of this crown molding. It's molding that's supposed to go around up there. And I brought it in, and I had him cut it in half. I painted it with teal, and then I said, okay, there's my new... Um, wooden storage, why wooden stamp storage? So I put that up there. Now on this wall, I have built myself a bank of drawers, plastic drawers. Now, if you remember in my old studio, I had shelving and I had all kinds of shelving. Well, now I don't. So um, 
this has got all of my stamps are down in here and as you can see they're overflowing onto the floor that's double um, layered in there along the top and bottom but these are things like I have my extra pencils I have um, mica paste I have stickers I have what I call people just a bunch of people I have my pigment powders extra pens extra black pens alcohol markers photos texture vinyl magazine cutouts um, colored die cuts flowers you name it it's all here bling um, washi these three things are here are filled with washi this is all painted papers um, pockets envelopes bags fabric bags ephemera um, cardstock extras whatever that is then on the bottom here I have all kinds of paper like my um, index cards that kind of stuff this bag there this one believe it or not is full of post-it notes this is all tape and it just keeps going um, die cuts completed pieces this is just this is a drawer I pull from when I want to do a happy mail um, it's just things that I've created while I sit here at night and have insomnia or whoops there we go that way or whatever it's just little things that I've created um, these I actually did quite a long time ago before they started doing the circles so these have been in here for a while um, I also did these sticks I took these little popsicle sticks that one's upside down um, they're Claudine Helmuth little popsicle sticks and I just decorated them with washi tape and put some words on them but yeah this is um, little cards that I've made again this is just stuff that when I want to send out something you know in a happy mail I will this is my essential oils um, I love my essential oils these are the, currently the ones I'm using right now um, I use those a lot for pain management believe it or not it, it really helps me to calm down oops sorry guys I'm a little bit cockeyed um a bunch of junk that needs to be put away um, this this little guy I love him my son brought him to me um, he used to sit on a teacher's desk and he got it at a yard sale and he told me that the teacher told him that this had sat on her desk for 30 years with pencils in it well now it holds my palette knives in these guys um, just extra stuff a canvas that I've done um, if you haven't seen it it will be coming up uh, this little body I want to do something with it's just a styrofoam piece and then this is just one of my um displays where i've got some stuff stuff i've made that my sweet friend uh peg robinson made for me um you're gonna see a lot of people's art in here just different things um this is our paint brushes that we did uh the paintbrush swap but yeah just a lot of odd and then goodies that doll right there is a corn husk doll that my sister made for me many 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 years ago way back up there is one of my angels one of my stained glass angels but so that's that one now let me back up a little bit now this is my desk um, this is where all my fun happens I have my Ikea cart here um, which I just cleaned off today this is what's on my desk this is just a file that's got everything in it it's got everything from stickers to oh oh gosh um little tiny pieces to you name it pieces of calendars to die cuts to whatever um on my desk that's my fan which is being covered by mail right now extra washi tape pearl pens um just some odds and ends and then i have these little drawers here um i've got beads i've got brads i've got buttons i have just odds and ends i have words and then I have what I call my minis and then right straight in front of me oops oh, sorry I was working on a project right straight in front of me this is what holds my camera and that's where most of the paints are these are all just craft paints and Dina Wakely paints that I play around with and there's my color shift paints but this holds <laughs> my crazy setup 
which right there is where my camera normally sits and this is where my webcam is and then I just have all kinds of goodie stuff hanging out here as you can tell I like to have goodies just little bits and bobs and pieces and whatever um, yes that's a lava lamp <sighs> I love it it's just full of glitter um, right there that picture is me and my daddy let me see if I can zoom in yeah there's me and my daddy that little one is my Haley and my hubs and then way up under there I call these guys my boys and that is Jensen Ackles and Jared Padalecki from the show Supernatural and you will see that I really like that show all right back out so let's see here um, I just took all my stencils out of a binder and put them in this tub because I was getting tired of trying to find them in binders this is just uh, extra stencils these are my Derwent pens um, just more stencil stuff these are all my distress inks more stamps and that's all my um, paper cutters and um, my cutting mats and my my uh, what do you call that not embossing um, score my score my score plate is in there rulers that kind of stuff of course my laptop right now it's got chromo lines on it um, these are all pens that I use um, these are of course the pit pens this is everything from gel pens to gel crayons to sharpies to Bix to um, glitter to just plain markers right up top I just have my calendar okay this drawer has personal stuff in it like my meds and electronics and my tens unit that kind of stuff now this this has a lot of art supplies in it um, the bottom is my paperwork then we go into oil pastels graphite Derwent um, and Jane Davenport Arteza those are the markers Montana markers and deco art acrylic my archival inks ink and ink oxides um, I can show you these other ones. They're just drawers full of supplies. Um, stamps. These are the stamps I use most common. These are all my paint pens, my Poscas, my uh, graphics, and my... These ones, I can never say the name. Molotov. Molotov. Uh, fine liners and fluid acrylics in the back. This is empty because I just did a bunch of rearranging. And this is just um, like my post-it notes and just whenever I need to make a note about something. That's what's in there. Down underneath, I have this shelf over here, which is not utilized the best. I'm still trying to figure out how to utilize it, but there's my sewing kit back there. This is all fabrics, or not fabric, strings and um, yarns. Just an empty basket, my tissues and some books. And then under here, this is my tools right there. Um, and then I have a basket which has got extra stuff in it. And then my little sewing machine is under there and a bunch of magazines and some extra paints. Um, this side, I've got this little container and I'm sorry about the light. It's just not light in here. Um, tools on the bottom, then I have watercolors. Here's my watercolor tins. Then I have, these are all just tags and extra pieces of paper if I want something like that. Um, this is all tools. This is all tapes. And this one's all glues. And then on my cart next to me, the top one has the main stuff that I use. My paint brushes, my gesso, my tacky glue, my black and white paint, my modeling paste, my water, my sponges, my uh, handy wipes. On the next shelf, I have my paint palettes, which lately I've been using these little plates, which is fine. Um, some tapes I use, and then in there we have my woodies, my, um, I can't think off the top of my head. My woodies, my Derwent blocks, and my H2Os, Twinkling H2Os. Scissors I use, a couple pokey tools, black pens, white pens, etc. Bottom is just extras, extra stuff down there. And here's my sponge brushes and, my, and an extra brayer. And then here's the two heat guns that I use. I use both of them, so I have to keep both of them plugged in. Sometimes I want the stronger heat, sometimes I want the softer heat. Um, and then 
This is just extra sponges. I want to show you guys something. I know um, I was talking with a friend of mine the other day, and we were talking about how these um, uh, buckets like to come off the cart. See what I do? I use a bullnose clip on them. I just clip it to the cart, put both the things down, um, and they stay there. That way, I don't have to worry about them coming off. Right? Okay. So, that's my craziness here. Now, to continue going around the room, and then we'll do the middle of the room. Um, told you I'm a fan of Supernatural. Yeah. Um, I've watched that show for, I don't know how long now, 13, 13 seasons. Um, I love it. These are phenomenal. Dear friend of mine sent these to me. They're ATCs and they're all done with the Supernatural cast, which I thought was just awesome. I absolutely love them. Uh, my printer. I actually have an office size printer. Uh, when I first left my job and started doing stuff here, I, I, it drove me nuts having to, first of all, buy a printer ink all the time. And second of all, wait for three hours to get 10 sheets printed. So I made an investment. I went out and bought um, an actual office printer. I absolutely love it. Yes, those are expensive, but I only buy them about once a year. And it's like $250, so I can handle that. That's just a file cabinet. Got extra paper in it for my printer. On this wall, um, remember when in my old studio I had the chicken wire that I would put everything in that everybody sent? Well, I don't have room in here for it. So this is what they call bed springs. It's done by a company called Salvage. I got them in Hobby Lobby on clearance. There's two of them. So what I did is I put them up there and then any little cards or thank yous or that kind of stuff that comes, I'll put that there and eventually I'll end up um, swapping them out. Uh, there's just my Inspire Be Creative. A little shelf, which I thought was really cool. So we picked that up and put it on here. And then one of my paintings. And it was so funny because this painting was sitting on the printer. And I had to move it out of the way. And it just fits right there perfectly. So I thought, huh, what a great place to put it, right? All right, um, then we have my windows, which I have teal curtains. And I do have lights up here as well as over my other closet. These are pink and those are purple, just for something different. Okay, this is, these are all finished art journals. These are all finished personal journals. This is all, um collage material that's all just six by six papers which I'm I got to go through those but um, and that is just albums and started books and that kind of stuff like my en masse magazine that kind of stuff is there all right um, let's continue on this side and again sorry about the lighting guys it's not really that bright outside my toolbox which has all of my um, foamies and mark making tools and that kind of stuff in it. On the bottom I have my 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock that are ugly that I use to jelly print with. This little shelf is going to end up, we're going to do something with that because it's, it's just, it's kind of nonsense in there. So there's some candles on the bottom, some CDs which I'll never listen to because I have them all on my computer and then in this bucket it's essential oils and that is not hooked up because I never use it. So, a um, couple of my paintings up through there. One, this one came from Gina Aarons, and it says Believe. Up here, let me see, just some odds and ends. Um, things, my happy place, my Steelers helmet, that kind of stuff. Um, this is all full of art. There's a lot of um, my glue books in there. What else is up there? Um, some canvases I've done. Just odds and ends. These are, um, let me show you. Get closer. Oops. This is little diamonds from the Herkimer Diamond Mind. Which is cool. Um, there's Large Marge. There she is. Large Marge is back there. Um, see, there she is. Never know. She might be getting a brother. This is my old license plate off my old motorcycle. Um, I have a new one on it now. 
This is a watercolor done by Gina Ahrens that um, I framed. Glue book, canvas I did. Um, that's a canvas from, I want to say Anne. No, I'm sorry, Lisa Swank. I apologize, Lisa. That's from Lisa Swank. That's a project we did. This is something I used to make when I was doing stained glass. I would do these bevel, bevels and fill them with all different kinds of things. I had some that were filled with um, like little sewing needles and threads and that kind of stuff. One filled with cherries, blueberries for different kitchens, that kind of stuff. Um, more stuffs. My Haley bug. Um, those are some tins that have some cards in them. And then at the bottom of this, this is where I've got my um, extra matte mediums and glues and sponges and baby wipes, that kind of stuff. All right, then on this wall, whoops, back it up. This wall, um, I did something different in this art room, and this little couch was at my mother-in-law's, and I said to her, it was on her sunroom, I said, you know, can I take that with me? She was like, absolutely. So I have this little, it's, called, it's a pleather couch, um, and I like it because I can sit here at night and just chill out and draw or whatever, whatever I want to do, zoom or just hang out. Of course, there's my pillows you guys saw on my couch that used to be in my living room. Um, these are some different pieces of art. This is one that I did a long, long time ago. This is actually glue from the bottom of a dish as well as this. This entire shape is um, dried paint and this is all dried glue and paint. So that was fun. I enjoyed doing him. He was kind of cool. Um, sorry guys, I hope I'm not making you seasick. This is Fall in Love with Paper and Paint. It's one of my very first ones I did. This is my most favorite piece of art I have. And if you guys watch her, you'll recognize this. This is from Gina Ahrens. She sent it to me for my birthday last year, and I am just, I, I'm just in love with it. Um, it's very special to me. That piece of art, I actually purchased uh, when I was in North Carolina a few years ago on vacation. Um, there was like a little art fair that I went to, and I just, I like that. I thought that was really cool. This is one of the very first girls that I drew, and it just says enjoy life, and I kind of like her. And then here's another piece that I did. And this is all done with stamps and gel pens and, oops, and dilution paints by dilution sprays sorry and then I have over here another closet which is a mess this closet needs to be done um, it's got some extra journals in it it's got oh, just extra papers and all kinds of stuff up in here that I need to go through and take care of and get rid of all right, so that's in here. Now, oops, I just ran into my door. Now, in the middle of my room, um, first of all, at the end of my couch, I have this. Bought this little stand, and I was using it to put stuff on while I was sitting there on the couch. Uh, I have two desks here in the middle. This one is my husband's. Um, if you notice how nice and neat and put away everything is yeah this is a couple of his journal pages that he's been doing which i really like um another page so he's been playing with journaling um let's see if there's something else yeah no nope. yeah he's just been playing around but I really love this page. I think he did a great job on this page. And it's funny, the more and more he plays, the better he gets at it. But anyways, his little desk is nice and neat, and everything is put where it's supposed to be. There's Bob Ross and uh, Bobby from Supernatural. But yeah, it's all neat, right? All right. So let's see. This shelf, it's got a bunch of junk in it. Um, that's my tool kit. It's got all my tools. That. I don't even know what's in there. Envelopes. Um, this is my laminator. That kind of thing. These are all dies. 
and my die cuts down below. That's what all this is, embossing folders and die cuts. Um, on this desk, oh, this is, I'll turn you sideways. No, oh, maybe I better head. This is a mannequin that I have been working on that's going to go down to the shop hopefully sometime this week for um, Scrapbooks by the Sea, and it's going to be a store display. And I actually have it set up so she can set her business card right here, which is kind of cool. But yeah, I had fun playing with her. Um, underneath here, well, let's go back. Hang on. Let me sit down. Phew. Okay, underneath here, I have another plastic container. Down here is all paints. This is all Dean Wakely paints and inks. We have more inks, extra paints, Lumiere paints. Um, I don't think I need any paint. What do you think? These are all my Ferro uh, modeling creams I absolutely love. These are actually watercolors. This is a watercolor ink. Um, and then some of my color bursts and some different, like, um, uh, pearls. What do you call them? Liquid pearls. So that's in there. Let's see. This is more creams. Um, notice I get them all on clearance. Uh, and then sprays. Now, I do want to tell you that 90% of my art room I get on clearance. That's just the way it goes. Thing of deli paper. This is my tray where I clean my brushes. Another tin of die cuts. Um, these are all currently journals that are in use. These are all journals that I'm working in at the current time. With the exception of these two, these are um, Flow magazines. But the rest of them are all a journal of some shape, form that I'm actually working in. This one that I pulled out, that's actually my personal journal. Um, it's kept in that case. That way I can just grab it and go, or I can just pull it out and um, use it if I need to. And this is dirty art rags. Okay, up on this desk, I've had a lot of um, different ideas on what I wanted to do on this desk. Um, first, I was going to make it my journaling desk. Then I was going to make it my uh, painty desk, my messy desk. And I'll be honest with you, it ends up turning into a catch-all, which is what it is right now. It's just got a bunch of stuff on it. Um, these are books that I want to make. There's some um, canvases that I was had an idea I wanted to work on. And then I have more of these drawers, which have everything from dots to metal to letters to wood to mini clips to buttons to clothespins. You name it, it's in here. Decorative clips, bottle tops, miscellaneous jewelry, gold buttons, sequins. Um, it's all here. So thin washi. There's a tiny washi tape in there. Clothespins. Um, you name it. Stuff on top, my gloves. This is a camera that I use to put my pictures in my journal. These are all just um, colored pencils. Those are sands and um, shells that I was using on Missy Do over here. Um, pens, uh, just stuff, just, <laughs> just stuff. Um, this is a twirly gig that I'm still trying to figure out if I want to use it or if I want to take it off my desk. This is going to be my next personal journal. Um, that vase my father was given for his 25 years at Harwood College and now holds my, my uh, scissors in it. And then I have a thing of papers here, just odd and end papers, and then a bunch of sprays that I brought them out because I want to use them up. And then, ouch, on this side of the desk, hold on, I got my ring caught, books. Books, 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 and more books. Um, these are all instructional, art instruction books. The bottom, uh, those are coloring books as well as some magazines, art magazines. This is all um, empty journals down here. And then again, more instructional plus journals that I've been working in. And then there's my ottoman. And don't mind my mess on the floor because I have not vacuumed recently because I'm not allowed to. So here it is. Here is my art room. Um, oh, this is my 12 by 12 stencils. That is my um, bigger ones, my 8 by 10s, my 9 by whatever's um, stencils. Couple uh, 
alcohol inks that I did. Oh, can you see that? I don't think you can see. There it is. There's that one. And then a couple flowers I did. But, and then if you look outside, there's my front yard. Pretty cool, huh? All right, uh, give me a second. I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed um, the sharing of my space. And like I said, you know, I'm still working on it. I, I need a couple days to actually get in my closet and really go to town on it and to work in my other closets. And I just... I just I haven't had the time or the energy or you know I'm dealing with the pain so that's it I hope you guys have enjoyed this um, definitely leave me some comments down below and as always like comment share and subscribe um, give me a thumbs up if you like what you see and I hope to talk to y'all again soon and thanks so much for watching have fun that's what life's all about and happy creating I'll talk to you soon bye